February 2, 8, 2014. Fire vest this morning. The owner brought his dog in with complaint of vomiting many times for the last last two days. And uh, she said that there was yellow pus coming out from the vagina, so she had to use a towel to hold the dog. Now the history is that two two weeks ago, this seven-year-old female dog has distress was on heat, and after that, uh, two weeks later, that means today, she does not want to eat and was lethargic, but there's no fever. There's an abdominal swelling she noticed, so I did the abdominal palpation and. Uh, and uh, found that the lower half of the abdomen was slightly painful and there was a big swelling. Now this big swelling felt like the and due to economic reasons, there was no x-ray done and no blood test requested. But uh, I did uh, take the blood. Before surgery this morning, I gave the IV drip, saline glucose, but battery antibiotics was a bit of uh, the light. Now, now it's 5:30 p.m. The dog was operated by Dr. Daniel on uh, about 3 p.m. So far, so good. The dog looks much better. I think I'll pass on. The surgery is here. The is The wound is is clean. Now I noticed that the valve is swollen, and uh, they were due to the dog leaking. Other than that, there is there is a good chance of. Uh, this seven-year-old dog surviving. Now she's a bit sleepy because of the operation. Then uh, we were hospitalized for one night. And uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is probably can go home. How it not? You can see that uh, the operation is here. And uh, pyometra is closed pyometra because uh, the, the, the pass has not been discharged, leading to the twisting of the right uterine horn. So this is quite an urgent case of immediate surgery in case this this horn rupture and rupture then all the pus comes out and then the dog would die. So that was the reason why I had to do this today because you can't wait. Now this the left uterine horn. Has seen in the vagina. I can see the length of the This horn is is more than ten centimeter in uh, in length, and even the width. Now the normal uterine horn is very thin. Is uh, the normal uterine horn is less than less than uh, 0.5 centimeter across, and you can see. This one is definitely, definitely, uh, about six centimeters across, not 0 0.5 centimeter. Even this one, this uh, also swollen is still distended with parts. So that is, this one is twisted. Because of the twisting, anytime this uh, body can rupture, so it's best to to uh, take out because it's very thin. And uh, now I've sent the blood test to probably show how it's count high, but this dog has no fever and uh, has had five years. Not too 
school you join pots are swollen so this is a case of closed perimeter with open perimeter in the sense that left you join horn is only not swollen so there is if both horns are not swollen then it is it is open perimeter but uh, it is unusual case this left horn is not swollen so the parts can come out this one is twisted it's twisted it's twisted here you can see so it's likely to rupture and when it ruptures the dog will die so in this case is a very uh, interesting case as normally it's either two horns are swollen or two horns are not swollen but filled with pus but uh, in veterinary medicine there are many variations and so that's what makes veterinary medicine interesting now if you palpate the abdomen many times over the years you can actually feel the swelling and the swelling is a bit uh, 6 cm I wish I felt earlier on you can see the other video so overall the outcome, surgical outcome of this dog uh, done operated by Dr. Daniel is good and uh, the next 3 days will let us know whether this dog will live or, or, or not the owner will be coming. The dog will stay here for one night or two nights and goes home. February 28014. Post my metra, Maltese, female, 7 years old. For all dogs, it's best to sterilize them young. And there will be not so much worries about anesthetic risk.